the Wonderlies are searching for Finn McCool to tell him that Dr. Astro is out to harm him. On the way, they meet Finn's son, Ashim, who has just returned from Tiranog and is also looking for his father. But neither Ashim nor the Wonderlies know that they are being watched by Dr. Astro and followed by his special agent, Sneaky Snake. More tea, anyone? Well, thanks, Godmother. There you are. Oh, Godmother, that was a great meal. You know, they don't cook meals like that in the canteen in Tiernan Oh, thank you. That meal give me the strength to roll aside the great boulder that conceals the Boraboo. Uh, who? The Boraboo! Greetings! And spotted Dalmatians. What's a boraboo? It sounds like a sort of a parrot. <laughs> Don't be silly, Mr. Crow. You're thinking of a cockatoo. I know what it is. It's a biscuit. It's a car. It's a biscuit. It's a car. It's a biscuit. Oh, it's a biscuit. Shut it's up, a you cock. silly pair of, of, of squirrels. And let Usheen explain what it is. The boraboo is the great hunting horn of the Fiena, which is in the valley of the thrushes. It's curved like a huge big seashell. And when anyone blows in it, the Fiena will gather no matter where they may be now. Hey. And that's how I'll summon Finn. Oh. Great. Then Finn will show his strength, bravery and power. And show that he's the greatest. And let everyone know that he is the greatest. And that crazy Dr. Astro will find out that he's not as great as he thinks he is. Ah! They dare to challenge me, me, the great Astro, the first producer of the flying table, the first creator of the submarine chairs, the inventor of the self-cutting grass, and now my wonderful time-traveling machine. Oh, 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 they will be sorry for this and that sneaky snake. This time I am having his skin for sure. I am warming up my snake skin bag-making machine. <laughs> I will have it nice and warm by the time he is coming home. Stop! Master, please. You'll be sorry when you see how splendidly I have served you. You silly serpent! I have witnessed your failures one by one. You are puncturing the tires of Machine's bicycle and O'Brien. He is patching them. You are digging a hole for the wagon to fall into. But the wonder is they are going by a different way. Everything you do, you are making a dog's lunch of it. And yet you dare to call yourself a professional hit snake? It is true, Master. I had a series of misfortunes, mm. but now I've pulled off a superb stroke. It simply can't miss. Yeah. What I've have you done? Stolen the notes from the baraboo. The baraboo? What are you talking about, you stupid snake? The baraboo. The great horn of the Fiona Master. I have stolen the notes so that when Ashim places it to his lips and blows, there won't be a sound. <laughs> and in his efforts to blow it, he will fall off his bicycle and so lose his youth. Then the Wanderlys will never find Finn. You ridiculous reptile! But neither will you! Oh, yes, I will, Master, uh, for I have hidden the notes of the Barbu in a secret place. Where? I can't tell you. Please. It's a secret. Ah, uh, please. No? Uh, please tell me. Tell me, and I will pet you and rub you and tell you yeah, that you are the worst and sneakiest and smelliest snake ever. Very well. <laughs> I have hidden the notes in another tune. Another tune? What tune? The tune of Wishy Wishy Welch, the leprechaun who lives at the gates of Tiernanoon. When the Wanderlys have disappeared and Ashin becomes old and harmless, I can get the notes back. Then I can summon Finn and make him disappear too. Splendid! My sneaky little, shiny little, smelly little, sneaky little friend, you have saved your skin for the moment. And that's not all, Master. Mm. That is only plan A. Mm. Tickle my tail, and I'll tell you, can be. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done, you secret sneaky snake? I am just about to do it, Master. Hmm? I am just about to let Ashim know how old he is. But uh, I don't understand. What age do you think Ashim is? I don't know. Well, he has a little balding spot. I don't know, 29, perhaps? More. 40? More. 80? More. 100? More. 200? 
More! 250? More! But he is more than 300 years old. But he looks so young. I wonder, does he dye his hair? Hmm? No, he was sent here in an old, where people are always young. He has been there for 300 years. But he thinks he's only been gone three years. But I have a scheme to let him know the truth. When that stupid crow of the Wanderlys goes to his nest, I shall hypnotise him. <laughs> then I shall put it into his mind to tell Ashim how long he has been away. And Ashim <laughs> will fall off his bike with the shock. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> you like Plan B? <laughs> Do I like Plan B? Do I like Plan B? I am loving Plan B. <laughs> tee hee, tee hee, tee hee. Plan B is the one for me. Tee hee, tee hee, tee hee. Plan B is the one for me. Oh, it's wonderful, my Lieblick Snakey Fez. <sighs> I've just time for my 40 wings before my next time check. All this travelling wears me out. I really must catch up on my beauty sleep if I'm going to stay young like Ushie. There's really nothing like an after-lunch nap for keeping you bright and gorgeous and on top of things. Night, night. Ah, yes, asleep. You will stay asleep in a deep, deep sleep. But you will understand what I say and answer me. Do you understand what I say? Yes, I hear you and I understand. Splendid. As soon as you wake, you must say to Ashim that he has been away 300 years. That he is over 300 years old. Do you understand? I understand. Then repeat your orders. What is it that you're to say? Ashim has been away for 300 years. He is over 300 years old. S Splendid! When you wake, you will remember nothing of our conversation. Only what you must say. So long. Ah, that was a nice little nap. Now, I must announce that it is two o'clock. Here I go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it's two o'clock, two o'clock. Back to work, everybody, back to work. Lunch hour is over. Thank you, Mr. Crow. Who <sighs> does he think he is? <laughs> Tell me, Oshin, how far is it from here to the Buraboo? Oh, less than two hours travelling will bring us to the Valley of the Thrushes. Mm -hmm. Then all I have to do is roll aside the great boulder that conceals the Buraboo and I can summon Finn. Oh. I, I can't wait to see Finn. Yeah. I, I wonder, is he like the pictures in my storybook? Oh, he's probably a good deal older by now. It was a long time ago, remember? Well, it was only three years. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, yes, that's true. But, but, but Godmother... He, he was away for more than three years. I ago. know how long I was in Tiernan Oak. Well, you see, there's a slight difference between Tiernan Oak time and our time. You mean to tell me that the three years that I spent in Tiernan Oak is a longer time in Ireland? Well, yes. A bit. Well, how much longer? Well, uh, it, it's... Um, well, it's... It was 300 years. You're over 300 years old. Now, what made me say that? Three hundred years? Tell me it's not true, Godmother. I'm afraid it is, Ashin. Oh, I understand now. Three hundred years in Ireland takes only three years in Chirnan Oak. That's why people never grow old. That's why he mustn't put his foot on Irish side, isn't it? Of course, because then his age would be measured in Irish time again and he'd be over three hundred years old. I can't believe it. Oh, it's true. I, I read it in my storybook. 
I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Look, I, I think we'd better leave him alone. I, I think he wants time to think about it. But, but we have to leave now if we're to get to the Valley of the Thrushes before dusk. But if 300 years have passed, will the Boraboo be there? Will Finn be there? Will anybody be there to hear it? But I thought you said that if you blew on the Boraboo, the Fianna would come no matter where they were. Yes, of course, but I mean to say... Well, that... what? Then all we have to do is go and find... It. Come yes, on, I everybody. I suppose so. Oh, don't worry, Oshin. We will find Finn, he, even if we have to hijack that crazy Dr. Astro's time traveling machine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Come right. on, now, wait for me. Cheer up, Oshin. That's the spirit, O'Brien. <laughs> Cheer up, Oshin. Yeah, right. We'll find Finn somehow. Uh. At last. But my sneaky little scheme is working splendidly. Ashin is so afraid of falling off his bicycle, he nearly rode it into the ditch twice and nearly broke his... <laughs> it was just my bad luck that he didn't. But he'll certainly fall off when he finds he can't sound the notes of the baraboo. But here he comes. I must disappear. See you later. Godmother! O'Brien! I found the great boulder that conceals the Boraboo. It's right beside the wagon. Oh, where, where, oh, where, 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 then I think I'll leave you to do it. You see, it'd be very tricky for me without putting my foot on the ground. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. well maybe I'll have a cup of tea first to get my ah, No, 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 no. Roll back the rock there. I want to see if the Boraboo is still there. Come on. Oh, all right, all right. Look at me. O'Brien. Come on. Come on. O'Brien, oh, get, get on, on with, with it. This. Can't you see that he's going mad with suspense? Oh. That is, if you're able. Yes. Uh, of course I'm able. Look at those muscles. Oh. Look, get on with it, O'Brien. Knock that rock. <laughs> you think I couldn't do it. You really think I couldn't do it. I I'll show you. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, you're useless, O'Brien. Well, as soon as I have a cup of tea, I'll try again. Ah, here, I, I... let me do it. Wait. Mind me, bite. Come on, wheel me around. You? I'll do it. Wheel you around. Ah. All right, hold ah. on. Don't put your feet on the ground. Are you all right? Ah, good man, you're hey. All right. Wheel me up there now. Close to it now. Yes, yes. yes sir. And hold on. I'll, have, really I'll hold the bicycle. Ah. I'll steady. Ah. Can you reach it? Yes. No, I think I'm ready. Right. Where do see now? Good old Ashin! Hooray! Thank you, O'Brien. Look, a great big hunting horn. It's the Bournaboo! It's still there! Oh, imagine, <sighs> hidden under that boulder for 300 years. And, and, and why wouldn't it be when there was nobody there to move the boulder except Ashin and me? Hand it up to me. I want to blow the hunting horn of the Fianna. Quickly, yeah. oh, hold on, on there. Be careful, careful. careful. now. Yes. yes, come on. All no, right. It's, can I give you a hand? Hard oh. as it's as heavy as the boulder. Oh. I have it. Oh, no, both I, have it. Oh, I have it. I have it. Oh. I have it. Oh. Oh. I haven't. Oh, oh, here I do it myself. Out of my way, all right. Come on. Let me at it. Let me at it. Look out, Ashin. You've put your feet on the ground. Oh, oh. Squirrels, squirrels, oh squirrels! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something terrible has happened to us. He, he put his foot in it. I, he, he, he put. A, I mean, he, he put his foot on the ground, and now he's three hundred years old. Oh. Oh, poor oh, Ashi. Oh, oh, the poor oh. thing. Oh, Godmother. I believe he's blind. 
Oh. You know what I think? I think there's someone behind all this. Oh, yes, so do I, O'Brien. And whoever it is, the squirrels heard him laughing. And we've just remembered who it sounded like, haven't we, squirrel? Oh, yes, squirrel, we just remembered. It sounded like Sneaky Snake. Sneaky Snake? What would he be doing here? Oh, I don't know. But supposing he's working for someone? Supposing he's working for that crazy Dr. Astro and his time-travelling machine? It's just the sort of thing he would do. Oh, yes, Mr. Crow. There's something about all this that smells to me real sneaky. Aha! Now are you not pleased with your special sneaky agent, Master? Isn't that a splendid success? Am I not the splendidest, sneakiest snake in history? You think it is splendid that you have blown your cover? Blown my cover? I, I don't understand, master. The wanderlers have discovered that you are at the bottom of all their troubles. And what is worse, they have traced you to me. Me, the great Astro, the inventor of the first flying chair, the first creator of the first submarine table, the father of the plastic punt. Connected to an agent who can't even be tossed to age? That's not true, Master. I have aged Ashim so he's a harmless old man. He's no use to the Wombelis now. Just look at him. Brian, I think we ought to try and get Ashim into the wagon. Do you think he has enough strength left to get up? We're going to try to get you on your feet. No need to shout! Just because I'm blind doesn't mean I'm deaf. Oh, I, I'm sorry. So you <laughs> should be. It's all your fault. You couldn't lift the boraboo when I asked you. That's why I fell off my bike. Need never have happened. Well, just don't stand there. I haven't two heads, have I? Get me to my feet. That's very unfair. Ah. You yourself couldn't get any notes out of the Boraboo when you tried. Because there are no notes in the Boraboo. Someone has stolen them, silly woman. Stolen? How could anyone have stolen the notes when that rock was on top of it for, for 300 years? I may be blind, but I can still feel. And seeing that you and Godmother are blind too, put your hands down there. There's a little hole where the notes of the Boraboo lay. Down there. Oh, Godmother, there's a little hole down there. Let's see. Oh, yes. A little hole like you'd find in fruit and vegetables when there's a worm in it. Only bigger. Big enough for a snake. Oh, a sneaky snake. So, sneaky snake has stolen the notes from the Baraboo. Oh. Then we must find them again. Come on. Oh, but listen. What? I can hear a thrush. I can't hear anything. It's the magic thrush of the corn. Can you see a great bird anywhere? No. Can you? No. Huh? Oh, look! On top of the boulder! A, 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 a great bird! It's the magic thrush of the corn. King of the valley of the thrushes. Someone has stolen the notes of your song, oh magic thrush of the corn. And only you know where they might be. Please tell me, great thrush of the corn. The notes have been hidden by the snake in the midst of the magic churn that lies near the gateway to Tirnanog at the magic foot of Sheen. Would you repeat that, please? Oh, Lord Savis, I'll tell it simply. The snake stole the notes and he hid them in a magic churn that a leprechaun called Wishy Wishy Welch has. And where does this leprechaun call Willy Willy Wally Wally Welch live? In a fairy fort at the gates of Tierna Nog. Well, then that's where we must go. Lead me to the wagon. We must find the notes. Good night, Ian Boham, Will. <laughs> Once we found the magic tune, we know that thing will win. Those 
sneaky snake would ever fool that first cool hero, Finn McCool. No time to time shall rule if we can get to Finn. We're off to find the magic show to lead us on to Finn. And once we found the magic show, we know that Finn will win. Come in with us, but his head is in a spin. But we'll fix all his troubles first if we can get to Finn. We're off to find the magic tune to lead us on to Finn. And once we've found the magic tune, we know that Finn will win. That crazy Astro thinks he's great to be the champion. He can't wait. But, but he'll soon find he's much too late if we can get to Finn. Sneaky, slimy one, and he's come back! Ah. <laughs> this is all your fault, you stupid snake! I took you in off the street, put a pretty little hat on your head, and taught you everything you know about badness, and you are letting me down! No, Master, no! I'll do something fast, you'll see. Uh, only save my skin. I'll lick your shoes. Uh, I'll wash your socks, please. No, 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 no. Unfortunately for you, you have outlived your usefulness. <laughs> now, I have a plan of my own. What does Dr. Astro plan to do? Will Lashim recover his youth? And will the Wanderleys find the magic tune where the dastardly snake has hidden the notes of the Baraboo? Don't forget to tune in next week to Wanderley Wagon, and you might find the answer.